For beginners like myself, it's really best to warm up by shooting at clay pigeons at the five stand sporting PlayStation before going out into the fields. Okay, Dala, four, single. Ready? Pull. Woo! <laughs> I got it! <laughs> Trapper's ready. Pull. Oh, oh close! Ah, close! That was close! <laughs> I felt better though. Once we're all comfortable with our firearms, we suit up in our safety gear and head for the field. Safety is always stressed during the hunt. We just walk together as a group. We let the dog work. We don't just, you know, start spreading out because that's when we can get into unsafe situations. Now a variety of pheasants and smaller birds called chuckers are placed in the field in advance of the hunt. Hunting dogs, or pointers, are used to find the birds. Our dog, Pete, was tireless in his pursuit, and it was poetry in motion watching him hunt down the scent of the birds. We raise them from pups, um, and he goes through an extensive, extensive uh, like, doggy boot camp. The dogs get honed. It usually takes probably about a full year before we can really take them out here and start hunting with clients. I think this dog's going to probably last forever, but um, as far as hunting-wise, I'd probably say a good 10, 10 seasons, 10 years. That a boy, Pete. You said you got groups out here, but it, the whole benefit, the idea is to help make it possible for the kids in the YMCA? Yeah, um, we have this beautiful facility that we use, and typically it's not used that much during the uh, the off season. This is a summer camp for kids. Right. And and with a facility like this, when you have 6,000 acres, there's a lot of upkeep and so on. And so we, between the upkeep and the scholarships needed to send kids to summer camp, we've developed this program with the High Desert Hunt Club, and all the proceeds go to our Send Kids to Camp program. Lead a horse to water?